Hello Lava friends! This week we have some nice additions to the framework that I need to tell you about. Let's do this! First, you can now use multiple types when using the ensure method of a collection. Let me show you. In level, we already got this ensure method which you can run on a collection. So here's my collection where I'm passing some instances of a podcast and then I'm making sure that all instances are of the type of this podcast class. And if I run this, I should just get back the collection because yeah, this is working and all our instances are of this exact type. But now if I'm going to add here a new instance, so for example, let's add here a new news model like this of course now this will fail because yeah news is not of the type podcast but maybe your collection is of two specific types that you want to check so podcast is fine but news is also fine but what we can do now is we can also provide an array here to the ensure method and next to the podcast class i'm also adding my news class and let's run this again and you can see now it's working because all of our instances are either a podcast or a news. So this way you are now a little bit more flexible when using the ensure method, which I really like. Thank you Ash for this PR. Next you can now use the missing method on route groups as well. I am working here in this application with news and I have this group here for some routes where I want to show update and destroy them. And I'm working with route model binding in order to get the specific model automatically from the URL. Currently, if I hit one of those routes, let's say show the news with the ID of 33, which does not exist, we do see this 404 error, which is nice, but sometimes we want to specifically define what we want to do if this model does not exist. And what we already have in Laravel is this missing method where we can say if this model is missing, we want to do something else like redirecting to my welcome view here. So if we try this now again, we will be redirected to this homepage. This is pretty handy, but what happens if we want to do this now for all of them? You can see this will work, but it gets a little bit messy here and we have to duplicate our code, especially if we want to do the same action if this happens. So what we can do now instead is, let's get rid of those. Again, we can provide this method here directly before our group. And when we format this correctly, this now should also work. So let's try again. News 999 does not exist, but we get redirected back to our welcome page. So this is now a nice and convenient way to define this only once here right before the group and it will now work for all the routes inside this group. Thank you, Ronald. And last, there are two new methods on the schema service that we have for you. Recently in Laravel, the getColumns method was added to the schema facade, and what this does, it just gets you all the columns of a user. So pretty straightforward. And in a similar way, we now have two methods here. The first one is getTables to get all the tables which you can see here on the right. And the other one is get fuse. If you have some fuse as well, you would get them here as well. And I have one here called my top users. So this all is a little bit more streamlined now for you because we got get columns, get tables and get fuse. And yeah, for you to get the data you need from your schema. Thank you Hafez. Have fun with the new features and we're going to see us next time. Bye.